Hi, welcome to Bags for All Seasons. I want to show you the difference between two Megans and two different inserts. My blush Megan has had the cardboard removed from it, which makes it very squishy in a, a puddle, and I'll show you that. And then I have the Magnolia Megan, which has not had the cardboard removed out of it, and I will have the two different inserts. I'll have the 2.0, which will be in the Magnolia Megan, and I have the 3.0, which is in the Blush Megan. Okay, here I have my Megan all packed up with the 3.0 insert, and I did notice she was a little bit more tippy than she is when I just use my packing cases. So let's take a look inside. So I couldn't fit everything into the insert just because it's a smaller profile. So I have a few things laying on top. I have a snack tower. I have a sunglasses case, which I could easily fit in this front pocket or my wallet. I could also fit in the front pocket. I just don't like to put it there for safety purposes if I'm running as a backpack. I have a water bottle over here on the side and I have the insert. And I have it pretty full. So what do I have in my insert? Well, here's the front of the insert. It's really nice looking. It has hooks on it. I personally would probably use it on a stroller for a stroller caddy. And the front packets, because I have it so full, really, I can't hardly get my hand in there. Um, so I don't have anything in there at the moment. The back side has a couple of elastic pockets and on those I have diaper needs. I have three size two diapers and I have a wet bag. Over here I have the changing pad and I have some wipes. Let's take a look inside. Inside is pretty full. Um, the pockets on here, I have a couple elastic pockets, a zipper pocket which is insulated and two other pockets that are insulated on the sides. So we'll take a look at those once I unpack. So I have a cheating toy. I have a small pouch with my earbuds in it. Another small pouch. I have a first aid kit. And then I have a receiving blanket and a burp cloth. And I have some Kleenexes. And then in these, these elastic pouches, I have things I normally would have inside a separate pouch. So I have a couple of little things. I have a tape measure and some Motrin couple of little notebooks, one for the kids if they are bored, and one for myself if I need to write something down. And then manicure kit, lip balm, some shout wipes. I have some lotion, and I have a change of clothes in there. I think you can tell I have five girls, so everything's pink. And that is everything in this bag. So, two elastic pockets here. This zipper pocket is insulated. I probably would throw some frozen go in there, or maybe some of those um, fruit pouches. On the side, the two little pockets, they're quite small. I'll move these, it'll help to see. They are insulated. I have put just like a regular water bottle in there, like the 12 ounce water bottles, and but it's very tight. Same with these, these are pretty tight too, but with nothing in it, I could probably fit something more in there than I could with everything in it. So this is the 3.0 Lily Jade insert. And to show you how this Megan puddles with no elastic it, or with no cardboard in it, it's just a puddle. It's gorgeous and I, don't normally like bags without structure, but I really am liking this one. So let's take a look at the other Megan with the 2.0 insert and compare the two. Okay, here we have our Magnolia Megan without the cardboard taken out and with the 2.0 insert. And this one does stand up a little bit nicer, one, because the cardboard's still in there, and two, this other insert fills front to back better, so it stabilizes it more. So let's take a look on the inside. So I still have my wallet and my sunglasses case just tossed in here, um, just for the sake of ease. And then this is what the insert looks like on the inside. So I do, one nice thing about this is if you are concerned about not having bottle pockets in the Megan, the insert does take care of that because it has a lot more pockets on it and they're bigger 
it's more spacious so I can put a snack tower in here I can put a water bottle on this side and everything works so these two I'll take those out and I'll just show you how I have it packed up in here. So I still put my diapering needs on the outside. Same setup as before. I have the diapers and a wet bag over here. I have the changing pad and the wipes here. And then in the inside, I the pockets are more usable. And I was able to put a couple of notebooks over here. Kleenex is here. I have the blanket and burp cloth here. First aid kit. I have a toy. And then I also have the other two little pouches that I had. And then on the little pocket here, I post, I just put lotion and lip balm because those I would reach for quickly. And then there's a zipper pocket in here as well. None of it's insulated, but I was able to put all the little things in here that I would normally have put in a pouch. And then on the other side, I just have a change of clothes on there. And I still have an empty pocket that I did not use. And it's just, it's definitely more spacious than the other one. Again, I use this one actually the most, most for travel. Um, I just love it. I can put it inside of any of my large tote bags and have all that last minute stuff in there. Or I can put all my bottles of hairspray and lotion and shampoo. All that stuff can go in here. I can put my styling tools on the inside. So many different ways. I actually use one um, for office supplies too. And for my kids' homeschooling stuff, I put all my papers and folders and markers and things in mine, and it just keeps it all super nice and handy. Um, I've used it to take things out to the pool, just put in cups and snacks, sunscreen, all that kind of stuff in there too, just as a handy thing to carry. So here are all the things that I have um, that I've been using in there, kind of give you an idea of what fits in Megan. There was still some room in there as well. And then you will see that this Megan is standing there empty and is not a puddle, but still gorgeous. Okay, here's just a quick look side by side of the two inserts. And you can tell just by looking at them how much more space and open the 2.0 is, oh, is from the 3.0. If you look at the bottom, you can really see how different the, it, it is in the width from front to back. So this basically mimics the inside of your bag. And this one is just a lot slender. So you could use this and packing pouches if you wanted to and easily take this out. They both are fantastic in their own right, um, depending on what you're gonna use them for. Um, if I could only pick one, I'd probably go with the 2.0 because it just has more room in it and I can use it for a lot more different things. This one, again, I think personally, I would use it as a stroller caddy I might even um, put some hooks on it and put it on the back seats of my car for the kids to put their stuff in. I just haven't tried that yet because even though my kids are a little bit older, they are just messy. They're just messy. They step on things. They get things caught under the seat and I don't want my bags ruined yet. So maybe when they get a little bit older, we'll give that a try. And then I just kind of wanted to show you what the difference is for me when I pack with my pouches inside of this Megan. Um, it just, this is how I normally would pack. And there's still plenty of room in here. I have all the things I had in the other packing, or in the uh, inserts, but I just have um, everything in pouches now. So hopefully that helped um, with some questions people might have between the two. And there is also a 1.0 insert, and that one is very similar to the 2.0 but it does not have handles on it and it magnetically snaps inside of the 1.0 bags.